Good morning guys and welcome back to a, another vlog. Why you wanna let me go na na now? Are you saying that to change your mind? For love or pity let me know na na now. Cause you love vlogged in a while i took last week off uh, but i did upload my h&m haul because i got some new bits in and i am currently wearing some of them i've got these gorgeous like mint trousers they come in um a few different colors which i picked up as well they're just so comfortable and i've just styled it with this little crop sweat and a white shirt as well this is all h&m i'm just loving their stock at the minute it is so good I've just curled my hair using the GHD um, Hot Rise brush. It's kind of my favourite at the minute because I feel like my length of my hair, it's not short and it's not long. It's in that awkward in-between stage. So just kind of having a little bit of volume and curl to it works. Although my roots just, they just need to go. I can't wait for the salons to open. 12th of April, I'm going to get myself booked in. But I'm actually having a bit of a productive morning. I've got up, I've done my makeup and my hair, done some emails and stuff. And then I'm going to go out now with Chris on a long walk, shoot some looks. I think we're going to go like around Chelsea area and walk across the bridge there and also get little Bailey out. Yeah, I thought I would pick the camera back up and vlog my week again and show you what I'm getting up to behind the scenes and just basically my daily life. We're also filming a Q&A tonight, a couple's Q&A. So that should hopefully be up before this video. So I'll link that on the screen. But we'll just do one while we're cooking. As you guys know, I do a little cook with me over my Instagram. So I'm going to get Chris involved and you guys can ask us some questions. So if that video is up, like I said, I'll link it on the screen or down below so you can catch up on it. But I'm going to get myself together now. I've been styling my outfits this morning, kind of going through Pinterest, finding some inspo on how I want to style. Because I feel like this period at the minute, it's not quite spring yet, but it's not cold, like big coat weather. So it's just kind of like understanding what to wear and just like this transitional period. So hopefully these looks that I shoot might just give you some inspo on what to wear currently as well. Okay, so before I head out, I've just had this big parcel arrive and I think it is part of my Olivia's order. So I've got loads of new furniture coming from them, which I'm really excited about. I feel like I've spoken about this a lot in my vlogs, that I'm changing up the little area in the bedroom. And um, I'm basically now starting to order some bits for the outdoor area, the patio, because hopefully the sun will be coming out. I saw a quote the other day and it's like, by the end of March, the sun will be setting at like 7.40. And that is just such a happy thought to think about late night, sat out on the patio, drinking rosé. So I've been ordering loads of bits for the home but i think this is some new vases from olivia's basically have loads of different brands on there and this is one of the new ones for the vases and they're really affordable and you guys always ask me about the ones in my home over on instagram a lot so hopefully this is them so i can show you but this packaging is so much sellotape it's going to take me like an hour to get this open what am i hearing saying you're moving back look at this vase this is the first one i've opened and this is just gorgeous i love this kind of like paint drip detail if you can see up close going through it it just adds so much texture to the vase i love this maybe put some like eucalyptus or dried flowers in here i was actually thinking of adding some green into the living room i saw this gorgeous like khaki color throw and cushions on um zara home and i was thinking to maybe add some color in here as well kind of like going into spring and summer so i feel like this vase would actually match perfectly with it and maybe like i said put some little plants in there and then i'm gonna open this one it's taken me a while to get through all this packaging And then these are the two other ones. And these are actually larger than I thought they would be. But again, I absolutely love them. They very much go in with the theme of my home, like neutrals. And this kind of like distorted restoration vibe, which I love. And they do actually match this one. So these will look great together. These could actually work on the floor, maybe. Um, going up to the bedroom, we've got this little ledge. I might put them on there and fill them with flowers and make like a little statement out of them. But also they could look cool outside in the patio area as well, once it gets a little bit sunny. So I'm gonna play around with them and what I'm gonna put in them, maybe some pampas grass. So these, like I said, are super affordable. I will link them down below for you guys because they have some gorgeous vases in. Stock right now that you can check out. 
and I feel like vases are really hard to get your hands on sometimes I find myself online searching for ages for them so I will link them now I'm gonna get myself ready and go and shoot. So we're just out shooting and we've got Bailey. Just been taking some pics here. We managed to get one on the tripod. Some pics. <laughs> if anyone could have seen us, honestly. If I've already uploaded it, I'll insert it on the screen. Some tourists were taking photos of us, taking yeah. photos of us. <laughs> it was very candid, um, but it's actually really cold. I've got this dress on from Pretty Lavish I changed into with the trench coat. But should we go on a hunt for some lunch now? I'm quite hungry, yeah? yeah? yeah. What am I hearing? Saying you're moving back When were you gonna tell me that? What am I hearing? It feels like a heart attack Someone help me catch my breath again How did you stop loving me? How is that even possible? shooting I'm just catching up on some emails at my desk and also going through the pictures that I took and which ones I liked so these are a few that I took here you can't really see them through the camera but I have done a whole video on this and how I sort of sit and edit and go through my pictures after I've shot them so I'll link it on the screen and also down below so you can see how I edit my Instagram photos and sort of plan out my feed and all that jazz my lips are just so dry at the minute honestly my skin and lips i don't know what it is so i'm just lathering this on i always have it in my desk it's the fresh rose lip balm it tastes and smells lovely so i'm just lathering that on my lips i'm also feeling like changing up my nails because i painted these yesterday and this one annoyingly has already come off and i was thinking you know what let's go a little bit different i always go like pinky nudes and i was thinking to maybe go for this essie color which is mint candy apple and kind of go for like a pastel greeny vibe i feel like now spring's coming maybe i need to bring a little bit of color back into my life so i might do myself a little manny once i finish my work i've still got some admin to do so i normally always try and shoot and do sort of my creative work in the first half of the day and then the second half when lights sort of go in to do my admin so i'll be sat here for a while doing this and then i'll probably catch up with you guys with dinner we're going to be filming the couples q a tonight so i think we're actually doing veggie masaka we've got hello fresh again this week we did a bit of a break from it so i'll catch up with you guys then okay so i must have changed about five to six times today already but i've had some really nice new pieces in from revolve so i will show you them tomorrow i'll do kind of like a little try on haul but i'm going to prop you up here because we are about to start our little couples q a cook with me and on tonight's menu let's have a look we have got the Heli Fresh veggie moussaka. Now I've had obviously proper Greek moussaka because Chris is Greek Cypriot. So I've had his yayas, which is his nan's and it's amazing. So I think we've cooked it or it was his sister's actually. But yeah, I love it. So this is actually a veggie one. We're obviously not veggie, but we thought we'd try this one for a change and try and cut out like red meat or meat where we can in the week as well. So I'm going to get started with a couple's Q&A, so you'll be able to see that in the video. I will link it on the screen. Are you ready? Resident Greek. Ready.
I am fresh out the shower, although my hair is just back today. I'm doing a no hair wash day. I did my workout this morning and I've just got these eye patches on. I showed you this, I think it was in my last vlog. I feel like I haven't properly vlogged in a while, but these are the Rodeal Snake Eye Patches. They're really good and I also love the other ones that come in the red um, packaging as well. These are freeze and smooth and the other ones are different. I'll show you, but it does say 20% visible plump and smooth active, 1% visible wrinkle relaxant anti puffiness ingredients so that is what i need today i feel like i've had my coffee already but my eyes just always feel so puffy in the morning and i don't know what it is recently but my skin is so dry like my lips are really dry my skin's really dry my skin has decided to break out with a few little friends here which are slowly starting to dry up now i've been having like a few make no makeup days to try and just give my skin a break than it needs. But I'm gonna take these off now and show you the other Rodeal products that I've recently been using as well. Just because I did explain to you that I recently had them, I've been trying them out now for about two weeks, so I thought it's a good time to show you because I'm really actually enjoying them and I feel like it is bringing like a glow back to my skin. So I'm gonna take these off and quickly do it because the rest of my skin just feels so dry. So I'm going in with this, which is the Dragon's Blood scorching gel and this is really good for like toning i love how it comes out the packaging as well like this so i'm going to use this first i mean i might be doing this wrong i probably should use the drops first but i'm sure it'll all work the same this just feels so hydrating as soon as you put it on i mean you can see my skin already it's looking a lot more glowy i really love this and i'm just going to bring it down my neck as well and then I've also got these, which are the collagen drops. This is really good for like resurfacing your skin, which at the minute, as you can see, it's just looking a little bit off. That's the only way to put it. Like it just feels dry. I've been breaking out a little bit. I don't know why, maybe because the weather's just changing so much. So I'm going to just put these collagen drops into my skin and let that drink it up. And also from Rodeal, what I've been using is these, which are the soft glow soft focus glow drops if it will focus as well and these are amazing to put on before you put on your makeup it honestly gives you such a lovely glow like it says on the bottle so i'm just putting like a pump or so here on my hand put it all in it's like a really like irid iridescent is that the word um color to it but it just really gives your skin a lovely i mean you can see it here like an instant glow and i've also been using these um when i've been having no makeup days around the house just to give my skin a little bit of life as well so yeah they're the recent rodeo products that i've been loving at the minute so i will link them down below and also the banana low light concealer i'm going to do my makeup and then you guys can see how it looks because i've also been using that and loving it too okay, so i've quickly just done the base of my makeup and quickly filled in my eyebrows as you can see let's just ignore the elephant in the room which is my roots right now i cannot wait to get back to the salon but this is the rodeo banana low lighter i literally have nothing on my skin like i said just my base so i'm going to show you how i apply it and also the effect it has because it really just instantly lifts and brightens around your eyes i also use the bare minerals um, bare skin as well with it because I feel like that conceals whereas this just kind of lightens obviously it conceals as well but I like to mix up my concealers so this is what I actually saw on TikTok it's better to do your concealer here and here because then it gives you that instant kind of like sculpted look I'm just going to go in with my beauty blender but you can see already it just honestly it's amazing it really brightens and lifts I'm so glad I have gone and tried this product out because i feel like sometimes i can be so set in my ways with my makeup especially you guys know i love my chart tilbury makeup i kind of sometimes just get set like i said and don't try up new pieces but since we're in this lockdown i have and i'm really enjoying it because look at that it looks like i've had 20 hours sleep and i definitely didn't last night i was up binge watching Married at First Sight Australia, which I'm really loving right now. And then I always just put it down here too, just so it kind of gives a little bit of a contour before I do do my contour and my bronzer. I mean, I'm not going crazy with my makeup today anyway. It's just a very subtle, everyday makeup look, but I really wanted to show you this concealer because I am generally loving it. 
and I'm hoping soon I will have a discount code for you guys for Rodial so you can get some money off the products but I will link them down below anyway and I've seen they've just launched a peach version of this which looks amazing as well so you guys can check that out I will link it too but this is definitely a one for me at the minute for my concealer I'm loving it so I'm going to quickly now finish off the rest of my makeup and I'll show you once it's done. Okay, so makeup is done. I've literally just quickly put my hair back and put a hat on because I can't stand my roots at the minute. And I'm just having like an off-duty kind of day. I'm about to go walk Bailey. Makeup is a very minimal, just like an everyday kind of glowy look. And then I've just got this jumper on, my Andola leggings and top underneath and then my trench i'll show you properly in the mirror okay so please excuse the mess behind me i've been sorting out packages that i need to return but this is my outfit so you can see it a little bit better just very kind of casual running errands outfit i need to pop to the shops and get a few bits and i thought i'd take bailey with me so i've just got this trench on this jumper is actually h&m but it's been sold out for a while so i'll see if i can find it similar for you guys because it matches perfectly with this little gym set i've got on underneath which is just really comfy like I said for running errands just quickly put my hair back and got my little LA cap on so this is kind of my little off-duty look also wearing my converse behind me has just been going nuts around the house i basically just give him like half a bath like cleaned his paws and he what he really didn't like it so he's he's in a sulk behind me but i've got a box here of all very much spring kind of related pieces from revolve i've had these in for the past few days but i thought you know what i'm going to show you on this vlog and properly do a little try and haul with you because i absolutely love them like i said they're very much kind of like spring pieces get me excited for this warmer weather so i thought you guys would love them as well there's also a few little lounge pieces in here obviously we have to have lounge wear but i mean this dress alone like the print of it you can see i am just so ready this just screams to me, take me on holiday. So I'm really excited to wear this when the weather gets warmer. So I thought I would just try these bits on with you because they're so cute. I've got some lovely little dresses in here, even some PJs. Like I said, I've got some loungewear and I regularly do work with Revolve. So these pieces are kind of gifted to me, but they're shipping, they do ship to the UK. It usually takes two or three days and you don't have to pay customs or tax as well if you are UK based. So I highly recommend looking on there because it is worth every penny. The quality is so good. I have so many lovely pieces from Revolve that I always wear. And also, look at this. I thought this was so sweet for spring. Like a light blue, a baby blue. Bringing in all the pastels, you know. So I'm going to try these pieces on and show you what they look like. So this first set probably has to be one of my favourites. And I've been wearing this so much it's just so comfy to wear around the house this would also look cute styled if you wanted to go out as well put it with some trainers or something or some nice little sandals in the summer and it's just really kind of lightweight and then i love this frill detail on the arms and it comes a little bit longer which i like as well because i always feel like loungewear can be a bit cropped so this is such a gorgeous set it's just such nice quality and then it's got these kind of like ribs going through it as well but i just love the little frill finishing it just gives it that kind of little girly edge so I got this in an extra small in the top and the bottom, so they fit great. They are a little bit long, I feel like trousers are always a little bit long on me, but they're fine just to kind of wear around the house for now and then I'll get them taken up. This next little set is also a lounge set, as you can see it's a little bit crumpled up from when it's been in the box, so I need to hang this and steam it and then fold it away when I'm not wearing it. I just love the colour of it, it's like this nice little pastel colour, kind of like a peachy pink, and then it's got the matching shorts, which I thought would be perfect going into spring, when you want to be comfy around the house, but you don't want like a big jogger. Sometimes I can get too hot in a jogger, so these are perfect, and also this would look cute if you were to style it and wear it out, run in errands, put maybe some Converse with it or something, and just style it up. So it definitely needs a steam or an iron, but I love this little set, and definitely, a keeper for the spring okay so this little dress again it can do with a good steam because it's been in the box but this is literally so me i absolutely love it it's from song of styles collection and you just know she's going to bring out the good stuff so 
all here for a puff sleeve. I feel like it just adds a little bit more to the dress. And then it comes in here with the belt. However, you can take the belt off. It's not attached. And I do actually quite like it without the belt. I think it just looks really classic. It's just such a nice little black dress for the spring. The fact it's long sleeve as well. So you're not going to be too cold in it. And I thought this would look so lush with my little black Chanel bag. Some little black sandals. And this is it without the belt. As you can see, it's just really nice and floaty. If you're going for a big brunch or a big dinner. This is your dress girls, it hides the bloat But I just actually really like it floaty and loose like this And again I'd put it with my Chanel bag And maybe some black chunky boots for now And then going into the warmer months Some little cute sandals, even tan would look really nice with this as well Okay so this dress is the one that I have been lusting after. It must have been for like a year and a half now. It's always sold out and then I saw it come back online on Revolve and I was like, get in my basket. It is just so cute, I'm obsessed with it. It's got these little ties here, which I need to sort out. I've just quickly put it on and then it's got the little bow tie here and the little bra cups, which are really flattering. And it just comes in at the right place and then comes out at the right place as well with the little pleats. It's just so cute, girly and feminine. I thought this would look so sweet with a little cream bag, some cream or white sandals. Even my Chloe sandals, I feel like would match perfectly with this, but I actually got it in a size small. It fits great. I always find the dresses come a little bit tight. So I really love this one. It is just telling me to get myself on a holiday and be wearing cute little dresses like this, strappy sandals. I'm just so ready for it, guys. This set is definitely more for the evening wear. Needs a little bit of a steam again, but it is just so lush. It's this satin material top. It's cropped with this sort of fringing detail and then the matching midi skirt. And I love this because you can obviously just wear it separate. So I probably just wear the midi skirt a lot on its own with like a body or just different tops. You can style it loads of different ways. And this would look really nice just with some like leather trousers or something. So really love this set together. It's a little LPA number. I got it in an extra small in the top and also in the skirt. But I just thought this would look really nice. So if you're abroad and you go for like an evening dinner or something, or even here for like a dinner date in the UK when it gets a little bit warmer. And then this is the blue sweatshirt on as well. I just love this baby blue, again with the pastels. And then it's got this cute little button detail in here so you can just wear it open if you want. And also the collar and the little pocket. But this is from Song of Styles collection again. She just smashes it. And it does actually come with a matching little blue shorts, which I'm really tempted to get because I think it will look super cute going into the spring and summer. But I've just put it on now with these white trousers that I showed you before, just because I just kind of wear this comfy around the house. But this would also look nice if you did want to dress it up even just some jeans casual or you can wear it literally so many different ways some little denim shorts you could put some white trousers even some like beige camel like cigarette trousers will look really cool for this kind of like transition period but it's nice it's lightweight but it's still warm because it's a sweatshirt and I like the fact that I'm bringing a little bit more color into my wardrobe okay so it is dinner time I am cooking it tonight I am doing another hello fresh so tonight's HelloFresh is roasted courgette and aubergine linguine and it only actually takes 20 minutes to do. So I'm going to get started with this before Chris gets home with walnuts and chives. This actually sounds really yummy. Love a good linguine. So it's actually a veggie option. But I'm going to start by pouring a glass of red. I feel like it's acceptable to have wine on a Thursday night. And I went and picked this one up earlier. It's one of my favourites, bread and butter. So let's get the wine glasses out. These wine glasses, I did mention on my video in the Q&A when we were drinking the red. They are from Zara Home, but you can actually get them on Amazon. So I'll link them down below. Because I think they sell out a lot on Zara Home. So let's crack this baby open and get cooking. <laughs> 